Bitcoin has slowed down and the altcoins are going absolutely parabolic. Not everything is pumping yet and that's an amazing opportunity for us to evaluate what the market is seeing as so red hot and potentially get ahead of the next moves of this explosive altcoin cycle. It's been no secret that the big money has been made this entire year in altcoins. And at the beginning of December 2020, we are seeing absolute magic taking place in this part of the industry. So if you guys are excited to hear about the absolute most important news and projects in the altcoin space, then all you got to do is smash that like button. And of course, remember that each and every comment on this video is entered to win your very own Ledger Nano S. Guys, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you guys could help me by subscribing and push me over that psychological line of resistance, well, I would be very much appreciative. At any rate, with that said, let's dive in. Now let's start off with Robonomics. Robonomics XRT, it's one of the two tokens of the Robonomics ecosystem. Now Polkadot projects are feeling especially hot right now, especially those that got absolutely decimated with the crash back in September. And this gives us a little bit of a hint as to what might be coming next. Now, if you're asking me, looking at a climate where something like Robonomics is pumping over 100% in a day, it tells me the days for these extremely white hot assets in the altcoin space may be returning. Nothing is for sure ever in crypto land, but reading the tea leaves, it does feel like this extremely hot trending narrative of Polkadot is starting to emerge once again. And if this is anything like the last time, these assets are going to do absolutely face melting numbers. Now to take a look at the Robonomics chart, if we zoom out here, what we see is that we have, of course, this ridiculous pump back in like, I guess, February, I don't really know what that's about, but we saw Robonomics shoot all the way up to literally like $42 starting from about two bucks earlier this year. That was about a 20X, if you will. Now it bottomed out here around $6 and it's up here to about 25 now. And so if we were to take a similar 20X off of this uh, $6 figure, then we would end up with a staggering $120 figure. So is this thing gonna go up 100 bucks in value? Is this, is this thing a 400% pop away? I have no idea. Is that what we're seeing is that these polka dot projects, which had been bottoming out for months now, decided, hey, it's time to absolutely pop off. There's actually a tag here on Coin gecko for polka dot ecosystem projects and what we can do here is look by all-time high and you can sort by actually the one that is the furthest from the all-time high and robonomics here is actually pretty low it's not really fair because the robonomics all-time high was like that like very inorganic pump back in February. Um, it's really about where it's organic pump to all time high was, uh, or it's not about there, $40, $42. So it's still like about, you know, 70% pump away. Edgeware, Kalupu, these were both hotly trending coins. Back in August, these were hot trending projects that had huge runs. And so if this sort of history repeats itself, you know, Mantra Dow down almost 90%, Rio DeFi down huge, Acropolis down pretty huge here, um, Darwinia Network Ring, we also saw Katen. Um, which is the Darwinian Network rewards token. If we look in here, this is the Ring project. But then there's also Katen, which is the Darwinia commitment token. And this thing is pumping up 50%. And so you're seeing some pretty astronomical pumps here. If we look here at uh, you know the max view, we can still see here Katen is down from literally almost 400 bucks here. And it's up here at about 83 bucks. So it's still got over uh, a 4X to go back to its highs. And you're seeing here that this there's a, there's a re-enlivening if you will, of the polka dot ecosystem that I'm starting to feel here. And is this guaranteed to continue? Is this guaranteed money in the bank? Of course not. This is all with a tremendous amount of risk and volatility. I'm just reading the tea leaves and telling you what I'm feeling, which is that the polka dot ecosystem, which is a narrative just like DeFi, that is not going away this bull run. I believe, unless something very bad happens, that this is going to continue evolving. So the FOMO will keep building, in my opinion, over the course of this bull run, as this is kind of like the new sort of like Ethereum killer movement. It's all about the Ethereum scalar, the Ethereum interoperator movement, which, uh, you know, very much so Polkadot is. And then furthermore to this, we have a 20% pump in uh, Polka Starter uh, down here, which is doing nice gains, another Polkadot project. And that brings us to some projects that we have covered here that are about to have their token generation event here on Polkadot. And in my opinion, the beginning of the projects, while they can be very volatile, there tends to be a huge upward tick uh, at the beginning of a project right when they launch. And I know based on the feedback I've gotten on my Bondly coverage, based on the people that I know surrounding the project, that there is a ton of FOMO 
over the Bondly token that I believe will translate into a pretty explosive launch here for Bondly. They have set their TGE as the 8th of December, which is five days from today. And so on Tuesday of next week, they will be having their TGE and hitting Uniswap. And that'll be for anyone who wasn't able to get into the presale, who didn't get any of their NFTs uh, and who aren't going to get enough, who essentially just want Bondly. That's going to be the time that they're going to unleash this upon the world. And I do believe that Bondly will have a very, very intense sort of launch. And so that is all happening on the 8th. Then we also have Spider DAO, which is another interesting project, which is a hardware DAO launching on Polkadot. And essentially they're a VPN company that actually pays you to use the VPN. It's a very interesting thing. We're actually gonna be doing a giveaway of their VPNs um, here on the show. And hey, why don't we just use this? Comment below and you'll be entered to win a uh, Spider DAO VPN. I was talking with the team. They really enjoyed my coverage of it. And so uh, they wanted to give away some Spider DAO hardware VPNs. And so this is another project. And what I like about them, to be honest, is that they're launching at a $200,000 market cap, which is a ultra micro cap. And in this environment, it feels like they're poised to do really well if we don't get any sort of staggering resets between now and their uh, token generation event. I think that this should go very well. And so Bondly and Spider are two up and comer brand new projects in the Polkadot ecosystem that have, you know, I think uh, a little bit of excess demand coming into their token generation events. And then of course, like I said, we have the uh, products that were already big in Polkadot, like Edgeware, Kalupu. Uh, you also have, you're seeing Robonomics make a move up to 25. Um, and then you're seeing also, you know, you have Acropolis that's very low compared to where it was. It's over 81% down. And so, you know, looking at the really, you know, ChainX, which is a favorite of this channel because I believe highly in the bridge coins. I believe bridge coins are going to do really, really well as Bitcoin goes up in value, getting them into other chains like Polkadot. Not guaranteed, but if I'm right that the Polkadot ecosystem is starting to re enliven here, then you'll probably see some of these that are further down uh, from their all time highs uh, doing probably some pretty significant gains. And all of these are Polkadot exclusive products. Projects, probably the Polkadot exclusive projects are going to be more the recipients of this. Catching up on some familiar favorites of the channel here, we actually have some TechCrunch love for Injective Protocol, which in my opinion, TechCrunch is kind of like the hardest publication to get on in the tech world. It's kind of the holy grail here. You see here a statement from Paul over at Pantera saying, Injective's Solstice testnet trades and feels like a state-of-the-arts derivatives exchange, but it's actually entirely supported by a fully decentralized infrastructure with one second block time, instant finality and full EVM support, I'm confident that Injective will be able to pioneer the next wave of decentralized derivatives trading. And of course, you know I'm huge on derivatives. You know I'm huge on decentralized derivatives as probably the most nascent thing in the crypto industry. The mainstream financial world is addicted to derivatives. They're also addicted to yield, but I consider derivatives to be one of the most critical elements of mainstream finance. If you guys are not aware, the derivatives market in the normal financial world is estimated to be worth up to one quadrillion, which is a thousand trillion. If you can wrap your head around that, it's absolutely insane. Or a million billion, like I, a million billion million billion. Anyway, so this is addressing one of the biggest markets in the world, and it's super nascent here in crypto land. I've been bullish on Injective kind of since the beginning. They didn't really come out with too much news, but now it seems they're really pushing with their uh, test net, and they're building up to their main net. And I think that this is going to be one to watch in the decentralized derivative space, certainly from a technology standpoint, as well as from you know a backing standpoint. They have Pantera, they have Binance behind them. They were one of the only Binance incubated and launch pad launched projects. So, you know, they've got several chips on their shoulder as far as uh, legitimacy. And as they start pushing out their product, from what I can understand, their liquidity issues are completely solved by their Binance affiliations, as well as we'll see how they're able to really deliver a higher quality decentralized derivatives experience. That would be a very, very meaningful project. Finally, we have API3 here making a tear up above two bucks. It made it to 206, I believe, which is a full, I don't know, what is that? A six and a half X uh, from almost a full seven X from their initial uh, starting price of uh, 30 cents. I know they did have some technical difficulties with the Mesa Dex launch, and I spoke with the team about that, and it seems like that was not really something in their control, but more an issue with uh, the Mesa Dex. Regardless, it seems as though, uh, you know, all of that is sort of behind them now, as this is a beautiful chart, right? You can see here the demand for this token, and like I said, I like this thing because of the tech. I do think that this thing is solving the Oracle problem better than other competitors. That's right, I said it. I'm still a fan. I don't think they ever end up catching up or eclipsing Chainlink, but I do think that they offer an extremely compelling 
first party Oracle solution, which is completely novel and I believe will be disruptive. They are in some senses a first mover in that regard, though they're not a first mover in the Oracle space. They're a first mover in the first party Oracle space. That's why I put them on my God coins list. And because now you can see with them at a $35 million market cap, they're still a hundred X away from a chain link or actually over a hundred X, like a 200 X away from chain link. And so there's plenty of room for them to run here. And I believe that we'll see this 198 creep up slowly over the course of this bull run, maybe even in more dramatic movements like we saw today. So congrats to everyone who's in API 3. I'm personally going to be holding this thing for quite a long time, uh, and we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Finally, we have a new Coinbase listing, a super low cap new cipher. Um, so if you guys are part of the new cipher camp, you will be very excited about this. Um, anyway, this is just always news when Coinbase lists a uh, little small cap here. Let's go ahead and see what the actual price action has been like. I'm assuming, yep, it's been a nice little pump uh, out of their Coinbase announcement. Let's see if they're, yep, they still have some room left to go to their all-time high of 21 cents. They're sitting here at about 15. So yeah, yeah, I actually love this website. They do this really cool thing, if you can see where they scramble the dots. Uh, and uh, I just really like this design. Um, and so cryptographic infrastructure for privacy preserving applications. Obviously privacy is a hot button issue, especially with the blockchain where everything is visible. Um, I'm not too deeply familiar with this project, but congrats to the new Cypher folks. You got the Coinbase nod and that deserves a little bit of a celebration. So there you have it. It feels like altcoin mania is starting to wind up once again. We're seeing pumps of 50% to 100% out of coins in the Polkadot camp. And that means that, well, just like last time, there might be more and more coins starting to follow suit. Remember, it was one Polkadot project, then another one, then another, then another. They kind of took turns almost pumping up to ridiculous highs. And so it wouldn't surprise me to see the hot projects in the Polkadot ecosystem start to be the beneficiaries of some serious pumpage. Again, this is all just speculation and a theory. I encourage you guys as always to please do your own research, ask hard questions, never just trust someone like me, a guy on the internet to just give you and spoon feed you the information, use your noggins, educate yourselves and grow in this experience that is cryptocurrency. With that said, I hope you guys got some value out of this episode and if you did go ahead and destroy that like button it really helps me and of course the youtube algorithm know that you enjoyed the content and it makes me smile it makes me happy at any rate we've been covering coins like api3 coins like bondly coins like spider dow we've been covering these coins for months and months now trying to get you ahead of the market trying to give you an edge and if that's a value to you then all you have to do if you want to be the first person in the world to know when i put out content is subscribe and put that bell notification on and that way you're made aware exactly when i put out new content. It's that easy. It's free. I have no VIPs. I have no special groups. I try to give all the information to you first and foremost. So if you guys are excited about that, please subscribe and put the bell on. Feel free to join my Telegram group or follow me on Twitter. As always, my name is Elio Trades, and I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon on the next episode.